Good morning friends. Now I am going to discuss with you two uh, problems uh, based on reagent and name reaction. And these two problems will help you to understand one or two name reactions also. So let's start with the first one. So we have given this one and we have given the reagent as selenium dioxide in presence of acetic acid. So what selenium dioxide does? It is an oxidizing agent. So we have a keto here. So selenium, in presence of selenium dioxide, we will get a ketone over here. So ketone will be formed over here. Right. So in presence of selenium dioxide. Because in this side we don't have any option for formation of ketone. It is already it's, uh, saturated. Okay, so now we have given a base. Now think about this name reaction. It's a very common name reaction you can find in every uh, good organic textbook. So we have a diketo. It's like a benzyl system. It's benzyl type system. And in presence of uh, base, what happens? Benzyl type benzyl will undergo benzylic benzyl benzylic acid rearrangement so it will form a benzylic type uh, structure so what will happen so which will attack keto keto carbon so which keto carbon is more electrophilic this one is more electrophilic right so it will attack here so what is going to happen Right. This so will come here and this bond will move. Right. So what is forming? So this is the five member ring is forming. So let's say this is the five member ring. Here also a five member ring. Here we have O minus, here we have an acid group. Right? Now you have given acid. So what will happen? Just there will be a proton abstraction to form OH. So it's a benzylic acid type structure. Right? So this uh, name reaction is benzyl. Benzylic acid rearrangement. Just uh, go through some textbooks like Clayton and you will find you will definitely find this rearrangement. Okay, let's move to the second one. So the second one is also based on some uh, known name reaction that you have heard also you uh, might have heard about benzoin condensation right so this is based on benzoin condensation only so uh, first step will be uh, some benzoin condensation and the second step will be a one four addition right so we have given a benzaldehyde and we have given a catalytic amount of sodium cyanide so in benzoin condensation what we use we use a benzaldehyde and we use a catalytic amount of cyanide right so same if we do this one so we have so we are taking this cyanide we will attack here this is O minus this is a hydrogen is here one hydrogen and here we have cyanide right okay now what happens this 
hydrogen is acidic because we have a phenyl group and a cyanide group. This O minus will abstract the hydrogen to form a carbon ion, which is a stabilized carbon ion. So we have a stabilized carbon ion because this carbon ion, this negative charge, is stabilized from both sides by the phenyl group as well as by the cyanide. Right. So this is a stabilized carbon ion and since it's a stabilized carbon ion it is soft right it must be soft okay now comes the role of this reactant now what happens this is a one position this is two this is three this is four okay so two types of addition can take place either a 1 2 addition or a 1 4 addition so in presence of uh, this and this center is hard this center is hard because oxygen is attached to it and this fourth center is soft so in presence of a hard nucleophile 1 2 is preferred but in presence of a soft nucleophile 1 4 is preferred so here we have a soft nucleophile so what will happen this soft nucleophile will adapt in the fourth position right so if it attacks in the fourth position so it attacks in the fourth position fine so what is going to happen we have this one O minus here we have the cyanide group the phenyl group and then the OH group ok again see this is somehow acidic due to the presence of a cyanide group and a phenyl group this is somehow acidic so when it returns back this this pi one abstract this acidic proton right so what is going to happen I'm writing it over here this is forming O here it is forming so we have a cyanide we have a phenyl so we have O minus Right. Now, as you know that cyanide is a good living group. So, what will happen next? This elect this electron cloud pushes here, which helps to leave the cyanide group. Fine. So due to the good living nature of the cyanide this electron pushes here so the removal of cyanide or the removal of cyanide is the driving force for this step okay so the leaving of the cyanide group is the driving force for this step so this is uh, a benzoin type reaction okay the first step is benzoin condensation first step is benzene condensation and the second step is 1 4 addition to CO2 uh, unsaturated alpha beta unsaturated carbon right so it's just two, two step reaction so hope you got some idea about this type of name reactions and in the upcoming videos I will upload more and more examples of this kind or from the pericyclic part and every parts of the organic chemistry. So that's all for this video and thank you for watching.